Hey guys, welcome to the 107th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do things on a web page such as enter text into a text box and click a button. So for this tutorial, you're going to obviously have a web browser, uh, two buttons, and a text box. And we're going to want to have our web browser just automatically load yahoo.com as soon as we debug. So in order to do that, just select your web browser, go over to the properties panel, and set the URL here to yahoo.com. Uh, Alright, so now when we debug, it should automatically load yahoo.com. Yep, perfect. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is putting text inside of this text box right here. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is get the ID of this element. So we're just going to right click on it and click inspect element. Then we're just going to want to get the ID of this element. So the ID of this text box is P underscore all those numbers. So we're just going to double click on it and just copy it by clicking control C. So now we're just going to double click on our button and we're just going to have it uh, put the text in this text box inside of this text box, this search text box on the web page. So we're just going to double click on this button right here. We're going to do just like before, web browser one. Do the document property, get element by ID, type in the ID that we copied, and then we're going to want to do dot inner text, uh, just like before, only instead of getting it, we're going to be setting it. So we're going to be setting that inner text to whatever the user inputs in the text box. So we're going to say the inner text of this element, or the text of this text box, is going to be equal to whatever text is inside of this text box. So now we need to debug here to load the page. We're just going to wait for it to load. Now we're just going to type in something in this text box. I'll type in Adam. Click this button, and text should be now on this uh, in this text box. Yep, right on the web page. If we were to change this to something else, like hello, I am Adam. Oops, Adam. Now click this button. Puts it right in there. Perfect. The next thing that we're going to have it do is uh, click this button for us, so we don't have to click it. We just click this button, and it'll click this button for us. So just like before, we're going to have to get the ID of the element. All right, click on it, inspect the element, uh, find the ID right here, and search submit. Double click on it, copy it. Double click on this button. Now we're just going to do the document, get the element by ID. We're going to be getting the button paste in the ID for it. And now right here we're going to say dot invoke member. And basically what this means is it'll just invoke a method on the web page. And we're going to have it invoke the click method. So we're just going to type in here click. And for all buttons it's click. So if you wanted to have it click a button you just put click right in here. Just in this format, capital C and everything else. So now we debug here type in what we want to search for. I'll just say Adam. Click this button and it should search. Or Well, first we got to have it put it in a text box. Now click search and it should search. Yep, it searched for us. And we got a few results. Alright. So, how do we get this click? How do we know that it's click? Well, what you can do is you can right click on here, inspect this element, go over to scripts, and then if we search for click, You'll see that there are other methods that they have right here, such as mouse down, double click, and stuff like that. But that's not that important. You'll mainly be dealing with click. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.